Hi everyone, welcome to Frappe School. I am Lynette Sheridan and this is the third chapter in our e-commerce course. By the end of this chapter, we will be able to understand how to configure the shopping cart in ERP Next. Star Electronics has a wide range of electronic products distributed like mobile phones, laptops, tablets, headphones, etc. These products come in a wide range of variety in terms of colors, brands, specifications, etc. In order to enable customers to place online orders, we have to configure the shopping cart. Let's see how we can do this in ERP Next. Let's begin with configuring the shopping cart settings. Enabling shopping cart would give us the provision to add items to the cart. Add the default customer group to be set while auto-creating customers on adding to the cart. Shopping cart works differently for items with and without variants. First, let's see for items without variants. Item without variants have their dedicated product page and an add to cart button. For items with variants, since item templates can't be bought directly, there is a provision to choose the specific variant and add it to the cart. We will have to enable checkout from the checkout settings section in e-commerce settings. If disabled, customers add an item to the cart, they can click on request for quotation button to get the quotation for it. We also have a shop by category page out of the box where users can navigate relevant products based on their needs without having to use filters immediately. Let's check that out. To configure the categories for shop by category, we can navigate to the e-commerce setting and in the filters and category section, make sure to enable field filters. The categories are pulled from the website item fields table. Field filters such as item group, brand, etc. are reused as categories on this page. Once this is done, you will automatically see tabs on the shop by category page. Additionally, you can add a slideshow to this page by the Shop by Category section in e-commerce settings. Discounts are an element that attracts everyone to shop. In ERP Next, we can enable the same to encourage customers to buy from the website. To enable the coupon code feature, enable Show Apply Coupon Code in the settings. We will then navigate to the coupon code list. Enter a coupon name. Under coupon type, Select from either promotional or gift card. Coupon code is a unique read-only code in all capital letters which gets generated based on the coupon type and the coupon name. For coupon type promotional, it removes all spaces and takes up the first 8 characters. And for gift card, it generates a random code of 11 digits. This can be used on the shopping cart page before placing the order to avail the discount. 
Click on Save once all the details are filled in. We shall see how to use this coupon in the next chapter. While browsing through the site, if we find items that attract us, we can wishlist them before adding them to our cart for checkout. Let's see how we can configure that. We will have to go to the settings page and then to the add on section. Here, we can enable the enable wishlist checkbox. Once done, customers can add the items to their wishlist. Once the customers have purchased an item, it's essential to receive feedback since that will help the company measure the product's performance. We can enable this by adding reviews and ratings for the item. We can go to the settings and click on Enable Reviews and Ratings in the Add-on section. Once this is done, there will be a provision on every website items page to leave a review of the product. This brings us to the end of the third chapter in our e-commerce course. I hope this helped you understand how we can configure the shopping cart in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will learn about customer purchase cycle. Thank you.